It is 6th of May 2020. We're in the middle of the Corona crisis. Stocks are down. Everything is down. Um, I think it's time to make some money. I, I've been uh, trading stocks for a long time now. Actually, I've, I've started it when I was 14 years old. I uh, haven't done so for a while, so I'm very happy with this decline in stock prices. And for once uh, in the past year, for, for one of the first times in the past year, I actually, in the past years, I actually think this is a great buy opportunity. So I got my account ready at Trading212. And I got, as you can see, I've deposited 2,000 euros in there. Uh, I'm not working with any margin and I'm going to take you through my rationale, my decision making, my logic, uh, how I'm investing this um, at the moment. Uh, as you can see, let's take some, take a look at the indices. Uh, everything's down. Uh, we're in the middle of the Corona crisis, as you can see. Uh, it's maybe a little bit hard to see. But we were here when everything, this is 2019, we went there because, well, the economy, economy basically shut down. We're now here. Uh, we're in a uh, bear trap or a bear rally, uh, or what is it called? No, a bull trap. Yes, it's a bull trap and the bear rally. I think we're gonna go even lower. I think we're gonna go uh, obviously back to um, the lowest low and maybe even lower than that. And then we see a uh, w um, recovery out of this. So I'm going to trade some stocks. I'm going to take 15 minutes. And within those 15 minutes, I need to have picked a stock or well, not a stock, but at least some uh, stocks that I can invest in. It uh, doesn't really matter what type of stocks and I have to take you guys through my decision making and why I'm choosing uh, this stock. Uh, so why I'm buying this. Um, I'm not a genius stock trader. I'm not implying that I am. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm simply a guy that knows a little bit of economics, uh, a little bit of finance, has some entrepreneurial experience and I'm going to uh, try to pick the best stocks with my personal strategy. So, okay, 15 minutes and then we're off. So, you can see the counter in the left here. So, okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a stock that is hurt because of this corona crisis. I'm looking for a stock that is down a lot. So, let's think of um, uh, real estate. Uh, stocks that have a lot of hotels or leisure uh, in their portfolio. So those types of stocks. Also uh, maybe airlines, uh, stocks that could bounce back, that eventually will bounce back but have hit, have been hit really hard. So the key strategy here is just buy them really low, uh, hope that they eventually will go back. Uh, I think people will go flying again uh, for sure. Maybe it will take two years, maybe three years, but this portfolio, it isn't my saving account, it is not my savings account, it is um, some money that I have left over, so I can put it away for a, a, quite a long time. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm going to look at those stocks which have been hit hard, I'm going to take you through how I do it. So, this what I do, I'm going into Google, so which, which, stocks have been hit hard by the corona crisis okay well first hit on google this is my research guys okay sorry for the ads Halliburton. okay interesting what type of company are those they again I think they are a company that makes a lot of wartime. Um, Alaska Air. Ooh. This is actually March the 2nd, so it could be even worse than what I'm looking at right now. Uh, what are we looking at? Lincoln National Corp. What are they doing? I have no idea what I have to look it up. So, FLIR Systems. 
don't know what they do as well. So it looks like uh, some kind of camera. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. What is this? This is uh, an ad. Okay, interesting. We're not gonna have anything to do with it. Devon Energy Corporation. Okay, this is interesting. Why has an energy corporation been hit hard? This could be because of the um, uh, how do you say that? Because of the okay, the back at yeah. So they were at 26 at a high, 27, and all the way down to five. They are at 11 right now. So how are they doing? Okay, well they have done better in the past. This doesn't really feel like a stock I want to own. Here you can see my rationale, guys. Um, there's not that much rationale. I'm, I'm still learning with you guys. Okay, yeah, cruise liners. This is interesting. Royal Caribbean Cruises. That is a very interesting stock. Going to check those out. I use Seeking Alpha for these. Uh, Royal Caribbean Cruises. Okay, these guys have been hit hard, as you can see, incredibly hard. They were doing extremely well, 133. Okay, what about the dividends? Let's go take a look at the dividends history, 8.4%. Um, how are they paying? Well, they did amazingly well, and they're totally down right now. So these guys are a ripe pick for me. Uh, well, back in 2012, they were just as valuable as they are right now. I think this is a 2013, I'm sorry. So how did they do in the last crisis? They went down a lot and then back up. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so if I look at the key data and if I look at the financials, are they making more money every year? Yes, they are. Profits went up, so they are obviously a healthy business, I'm guessing. Uh, operational income is going up as well. How is their net income? Okay, they were more profitable than ever. And then the coronavirus came. So this sounds, to me, this feels like a healthy company that has just had a stroke of bad luck because of this virus. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, I, I don't know anything, I'm guessing that these guys, they are going to bounce back from this. Uh, that's my guess. So it's going to be my first trade. So we're back at trading 212. As you can see, um, actually off screen, I just made a big mistake. I bought 200 shares. By clicking on some buttons, I had no idea what was going on. So actually in the last minute, I lost um, 14 euros, a little bit less than 13 euros, a little bit more than 13 euros. And I know how it works. So we're going to type in Royal Caribbean Cruises, hoping that they will bounce back. Uh, this is my first ever stock buy in the last five years. For 674 uh, euros, buying them, take profit. What is this? No, I don't want to take any profit. Stop loss, no. I'm buying them, yes. Confirm the buy. Okay. I have no idea if it worked. Or account value, blocked funds. Free funds, yeah, block funds is the amount that is in there. Okay, so we locked in the first trade, Royal Canadian Cruises. We have 200 or 100 shares with a buy uh, at a price of 36.55. Current price is below that. So we already uh, decreased our total holding with another 8 euros. But I don't care. I'm going to hold these for, I hope, two to three to four years. Let's see what happens. Uh, these guys are going to go bouncing back. When people, my rationale behind the stock is that um, 
These cruises are hit really hard right now, so nobody's doing cruises. But eventually, if you look at the um, if you look at the behavior of older people, they love cruises. Well, I'm not generalizing, but cruises are going up and up in popularity, actually. And this company is doing really great. So why would that uh, behavior, huh, that that liking of cruises, why would that change? Why would people not want to go on cruises anymore, let's say, within two years? I'm thinking that's obviously not true. Uh, in my opinion, people just like flying, people will go back uh, on those big ships and drink their asses off and have a great time and do whatever they can, can't do on the mainland. So, eventually, if you keep them long enough, uh, you'll make some money off of it. That is my opinion. The thing is, I shouldn't get scared and I should keep this holding and don't run away from it. So I can see now that I only have 4 minutes and 22 seconds left. I have to pick another stock. Okay. Another one, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. That is interesting, but we already went into cruises. Uh, we need to diversify a bit. American Airlines, okay, yeah, that's an obvious one. Um, this is another good one. We have three minutes and 50 seconds left. We're gonna buy an airline because those guys have been hit hard. Which airline has been hit the hardest? Stocks, okay. We have to hurry up. Artist hit companies, visual. Oh, this is an interesting article. Which companies have been hit the hardest? Shrinking market caps. Booking. Yes, it's booking.com. Expedia. Delta Airlines. Okay, this is Carnival. What is Carnival? There's also the... Okay, I'm going to do something different now. I'm going to go for a um, company that I know actually. They are an American company, they are a REIT company, so I'm going to stocks, I'm going to the USA, I'm going to real estate, because certain type of real estate holdings, they have been hit extremely hard. For instance, those that own hotels um, and leisure. So, which of those guys are there? Okay, so we're back. I made a huge mistake. Um, the mistake was that I was looking for this company. It's called Service Properties Trust, ticker SVC. It's a company that I like for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, at the moment it has a very high dividend yield. That is, well, it's typically not per se a good sign. But as you can see, it has a very stable dividend yield. Uh, at the moment, it's at Five dollar eighty-two. Um, if we look at the stock chart, uh, they have been hit extremely hard because of coronavirus. Um, what do they do? Well, they mostly have. I think it's twelve hundred or fourteen hundred buildings, mostly real estate, uh, where they collect a rent, and the rent is from hotels and uh, tourist type of buildings. Um, so yeah, well, basically. These buildings are vacant at the moment, so that's why they're not making any income. But again, like the cruise liners, same logic. People will go and sleep in hotels again eventually. It might take two years, it might take three years, but I'm guessing it will go up. These guys make money from those businesses. Um, so yeah, uh, these guys eventually will do better. That's my opinion. They could go bankrupt, but I'm not guessing that will happen. Uh, so I'm buying these guys as well. Let's go back to trading 212. So, uh, how much money do I have left? I have free funds, 1300 euros. So, I'm going to put quantity to. I'm going to put all my money in. 50, no, 40, and no, can't make that. 30, no, 20, Jesus. Nope, yep, okay, 1210, confirm buy, and I bought these guys. So, at the end of the day, free funds is zero again, live results is minus 28, 
uh, we're betting hard on uh, Royal Caribbean cruises and actually we were right in time as you can see within a second so within 15 minutes we did two trades uh, well it was worth about uh, 2000 euros we're, we're down uh, which is not a problem actually that's what you can expect in these type of rocky uh, uh, how do you say that uh, rocky rides during the corona crisis so it's not a problem we own 1300 plus shares at the moment and we're going to see what happens i will see you guys next week when we do a new deposit and we will take a look at the portfolio and how it has done uh, thanks for watching guys and i'll see you soon and next week we'll see if I'm in the green, or maybe in the red, who knows, we'll see, bye bye.